have you wondered that in a situation where two people started off together have the same job have the same living situation but one seems to be struggling all the time financially why the other seems to be having a, a lot of things easier seems to be getting ahead financially this sometimes can be attributed to the other one being more fortunate than the other however there are some hidden money habits that can make two people that started off in life the same way for one to have a better financial future than the other and in this video i'm going to be explaining in detail all the money habits that you can have that is keeping you poor at the end of this video you will have all of the information you need that will improve your personal money habits that will give you the personal finance knowledge that will help you to build wealth and manage your money better the first step is living paycheck to paycheck there are a lot of people that fall into that category of living paycheck to paycheck once they've received their salary if they've done if they've not finished spending it they will not rest <laughs> that week when they receive their salary that's the week they will go all the way on a shopping spree they will order a lot of things that they don't even need online they will go out for shopping they will go out eating out they'll spend a lot and by the second week of them receiving their salary they barely even have enough to carry them until their next paycheck so in order to avoid falling into this poor money habit is ensure that once you receive your salary you pay yourself first and the way you do that is by taking a percentage of your salary putting it aside as money for your future as your savings after you've done that you take the the remaining part of your salary you take a percentage of it and ensure that all your essential bills are paid your rent is paid your transportation is paid everything your food is paid and whatever is left over that's what you can categorize as fun money you can go out shopping with it but a lot of people tend to shop with all their salary and they tend to struggle with what is left over and that will lead you into borrowing money until your next paycheck and by the time you receive your paycheck you've spent it you've paid off the debt you borrowed in the previous month you barely even have enough to carry you through to the next month and that's how people fall into the cycle of living paycheck to paycheck that brings us to our next point which is not having a budget when you don't have a budget you tend to overspend on a lot because you're just buying you're just spending money without any checklist a budget comes in handy because it serves as a guide it serves as a reminder and also guide you on how much to spend on which category of things for example if you said in a month you spend 200 pound on transportation that would ensure that unnecessary trips that you don't even need to go on that month if you see that you are closer to the top of your budget like you're closer to you spent like 180 190 pounds and you still have a week more to go you would cancel some unnecessary trip because going on that trip we make you spend more of your transportation budget for the month so for food if you have a food budget it will help you track your expenses it will just help you to be mindful so keeping a budget is important sometimes you can keep a budget and not stick to it but at least you know that you have that guide that will help you to be mindful that brings us to the next point which is not tracking your expenses simple way to track your expenses is at the end of the month just download your bank statement go through all of the things you've spent for that month check if there were anything that were necessary or unnecessary things that you spent on keeping track of your expenses guide you because that would help you to know that the first month i started tracking my expenses i was shocked i was surprised at the amount of money i spent on taxes and transportation i i then realized that some of these distances that i spent eight pounds seven pounds on taxi it's just like a 30 minutes walking distance that i could have walked if i had probably woken up early or left the house earlier i didn't even need to spend all of this money on taxi so reviewing my monthly expenses help me to identify areas that i didn't even need also another poor money habit is buying things on contract and only looking at the monthly payment when you go to get a phone contract and they tell you you are only going to pay 39 pound 99 per month you only look at the monthly 
expenses and say, oh, it's just 39 pounds. I'll pay for it. It's fine. But you don't know that contract is for 36 months. At the end of the day, you end up spending like over 2,000 pounds for just one phone. But all you're looking at is the 39.99 monthly payment. Another mistake that people would make is also buying a lot of things that they didn't need, paying for furniture, just seeing the monthly expenses. By the time all of those small monthly expenses adds up, and over a long period of time, because most of those, most times those contracts are for 24 months, 36 months, 60 months. And at the end of the day, you end up spending a lot more. And also having all of these different monthly payments coming out of your phone would take you back because instead, if you look at ways you can shop for things and just pay them off monthly and if they tell you that that phone you're paying 39.99 for 36 months for if they tell you it's 2005 chances are you will say wow how can i spend 2005 for a phone you end up looking for a cheaper and more affordable one to pay so one bad money habit that keeps people poor is just looking at the monthly payment even when they tell you the month monthly payment try to calculate that okay monthly payment for how many months and then do your sum and then you would realize that wow is it really worth it another money habit that keeps people poor is carrying credit card debt credit card is a useful tool that can help you when you need easy money to make a purchase but ensure that you're using your credit card responsibly try as much as possible if you can not to carry a credit card debt credit card debt is one of the dangerous debts you can have the reason is their interests are very high and you you might fall into the trick of only paying the minimum payment and by the time you know it the because the more you carry the balance the balance is incurring additional interest the interest it incurred it is incurring additional interest at the end of the day you struggle to get out of that credit card debt so try as much as possible use your credit card responsibly and try to pay off the balance in full that way you're not incurring any additional interest another poor money habit that people go into is upgrading their lifestyle with income is called lifestyle inflation when you earn more you tend to buy more expensive things try to live below your means within your means means that you can afford it but try to live as if you can't even afford it there are some things that you don't necessarily need to buy even if you can afford it try and think of your future self is it better for you to spend this money today or for you to save it and invest it towards your future so it's not everything that you can afford that you should buy buy only on need basis not want i know you want the latest iphone but the phone you have is still good the iphone you have is still good in perfect working condition nothing is wrong with it so do you really need to upgrade the phone no you don't need to upgrade the phone so that's not a need that's just a, a want and that's because you can afford is like a lifestyle um, inflation because you can afford it feel oh what would people say what would people say can make you have poor money habits that can keep your future self poor that brings us to the next step of not investing early enough the power of compound interest cannot be overestimated no time is too late to start investing you can start investing now with as little, little as five pound monthly ten pound monthly and automate it increase it as time goes on as you can afford it and before you know it you will start your journey towards investing another poor money habit that is keeping people poor is not having an emergency fund emergency fund comes in handy when you have unexpected expenses that stops you from borrowing money and incurring additional interest let's say your car broke down or your house there's something or you lost your job for example we are not praying for that but let's say or you fell ill or something if you have an emergency fund that emergency fund will ensure that your bills or your necessities are still being paid for while you get back on your feet or while in the process of recovering or while in the process of looking for another job but when you don't have emergency fund you end up incurring debt and that debt you might struggle to get out of it because you incur the debt and also you incur additional interest on those loans you take 
and the good thing about emergency fund is it just gives you that peace of mind knowing that even if something happens your bills or your necessities will be taken care of it just removes that anxiety and the ideal emergency fund is for you to have at least three to six months of your essential expenses for you to know the perfect emergency fund amount is just calculate your rent your bills your food your necessities for that month and then times it off by three or six and just have that in as reserve that way you know if something goes wrong we are not praying for anything to go wrong but if something goes wrong you're just happy and have that peace of mind that all of your essential bills at least you have a roof over your head you still have food and you have enough money to pay your essential bills another poor money habit keeping people poor is impulse purchases that is very dangerous have you ever gone to the shop and then you see things on half price and all of a sudden you feel like oh my god half prices i'm saving money let's say something that was supposed to be for 50 pound you see it suddenly at 30 pound and you say wow that's only 30 pounds it's supposed to be 50 pounds let's buy it at the end of the day you've ended up spending 300 pounds because you thought you're saving 300 pounds because originally the prices of the items you bought would have been 600 pounds without the sale you didn't just save 300 pounds you just spent 300 pounds but chances are without that sale you wouldn't have bought that which means you still would have had your 300 pounds that you spent in your account so try as much as possible not to buy things on impulse and one way to avoid buying things on impulse is when you're going out make a list check your house before you go out if you are going for the grocery shop shopping look at your cupboard look at the things you have in your fridge and then write a list only work with that your list and one way of ensuring you don't buy things on impulse is to eat make sure you are not hungry before you go on shopping because when you go grocery shopping on an empty stomach everything in the shop you feel like you want it because you're hungry and you will not be thinking straight try as much as possible to keep a list when you go for shopping try as much as possible to eat before you go for shopping another poor money habit that is keeping people poor is relying on only one income source now with the advent of internet and with the digital age there are a lot of things you can do online to make money from the comfort of your home you can do surveys you can do side hustles there are a lot of things you can even offer advices for free you can become a content creator there are a lot of things you can help people clean their home help people make it. if there's any skills that you know is helpful you can advertise it to your cycle of friends you can do that to earn extra income relying on only one source of income is one habit that is keeping people poor i've never seen anybody that's become a self-made millionaire with only one source of income alone because one source of income is barely enough there's only about 24 hours in a day and how many hours can you possibly work so having multiple stream of income is one habit that would keep you wealthy another poor money habit people make is neglecting retirement savings not savings for their retirement retirement savings can be done in different ways either you invest with the intention that in the future when you need to retire the income from that investment will be enough to cater for your needs when you retire or you can do the good old pension if you're conservative if you don't want to take risks you can save in a pension pot but not saving at all for your retirement can be a very risky habit that means if you're not saving for your retirement you're only going to rely on yourself that you're always going to work to cater for your needs and when you are like 75 80 now that a lot of people are living to above 100 years of age can you still survive without you needing to work what what if at that age you become ill or you're not strong enough to start going to work how will you survive that will bring you a lot of anxiety a lot of regret and you need to start going to work even if you need to go to work let it be that you just want to go to work because you are bored of staying at home let it not be that you're working because you need the money so planning early enough for your retirement having your retirement savings or investing for the future knowing that in the future your retirement is going to be covered will help you to have peace of mind and is a good money habit if you are enjoying this video so far please subscribe to my channel i'm going to give you a few minutes to subscribe please
thank you so much for subscribing <laughs> another poor ha money habit that is keeping people poor is paying full prices for everything there are a lot of shops that can help you to buy things at half price if you need to buy furniture if you need to buy some things can you try looking out shopping for bargain looking for discount or even going to the good old charity shop there are some nice sofas you can see from charity shop that you can say it have the price and you can still use it that will still look as good as new so try to shop for bargains try to ask for negotiate for discount or go for affordable things or go for charity shops recycle places where they still sell good quality product that you can buy that will still serve you your need another poor money habit we are going to discuss today is ignoring multiple monthly subscription do you need that youtube premium subscription do you need that disney plus subscription do you need the amazon prime subscription do you need the apple music do you need netflix chances are you don't need all of those subscriptions and because you think oh it's just five pound 99 eight pound 99 11 pound 99 they add up over time so try to filter all of your subscription look at the ones you don't need probably if you have amazon music you don't need spotify premium or probably if you have netflix you don't need um amazon prime look at the ones that you watch all the time and then unsubscribe from the other ones and that way you're saving yourself for money there are a lot of people that also have gym membership that they barely go even go to the gym if you feel like you don't go to the gym so often that would be worth the monthly subscription why not pay as you go chances are sometimes you have that monthly gym membership subscription that you've paid for the whole month and you've only gone to that gym for about three times that month because you've been busy so chances are it's not worth it having that subscription instead you can just pay as you go and also paying as you go will make you more mindful because if you've paid you make sure you are going to the gym but when it's automated payment by direct debit you're just paying sometimes you don't even feel it and at the end of the day you've spent three months monthly subscription on gym membership that you're not even enjoying the membership another poor money habit keeping people poor is not educating yourself on personal finances the first time i read rich dad poor dad it was an eye opener for me i thought i was I knew th a lot of things about personal finance but when I read that book it opened my eyes to a lot of things I started educating myself and now there are a lot of free resources online there are YouTube videos there are online audio books free of charge that you can just listen to some of the books that can help you is like I will teach you to be rich by Remit Seti, Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey start late finish rich by david batch there are a lot of other personal finance books that you can just read you can listen to online and you don't need to sit down to read the physical book you can listen to them while traveling while cooking while walking on the road just put the, while exercising just put, put, turn it on and just listen to them that way you know you're educating yourself on personal finances this video has proven to be longer than i thought so i'm going to end it here please keep an eye on part two because definitely there are a lot of other poor money habits keeping you poor that i'm going to bring in the next part of this video thank you so much for watching see you in our next video bye